Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Left a chilly and at least at the start of the weekend, very windy weekend. We are back to some milder air, but it's not going to last all week long. Taking a look at some of the conditions from our neighborhood weather network sites. This is from uh, the Connet Bay Retirement Living. 47 degrees there after an overnight low in the uh, 20s. No rain overnight, but peak winds have been gusting up to 20, 25 miles an hour. And it's pretty similar up at uh, Greenwich Bay, where the temperature is at 49 after an overnight low of 22, with a west-southwest wind at about 10 miles an hour and gust almost 30. So it is still breezy out there, but dry and milder. And if that's expected to continue through this afternoon, and overnight temperatures tonight won't be nearly as cold as what we woke up to this morning. Smithfield was in the teens. Taunton was in the teens. We're back up to the upper 40s. 40s now in Smithfield, 49 in Providence, mid and upper 40s at the coastline, and Martha's Vineyards now hit 50 degrees. So it will be a milder finish as the kids wrap up that first day of school after school vacation week. About 47 to 52 for afternoon temperatures between 2 and 3:30. Warm front has pushed through the area. There are some clouds out ahead of an approaching weak cold front. That front's going to swing through later this evening and tonight. And while there's very little in the way of any rain or snow with it. Uh, and anything that falls should be mainly north of the Mass Pike. We'll keep a sprinkle in the forecast around here and increasing clouds for late in the day. You can see where the cold from earlier is being replaced by this mild air on our southerly wind. So again, temperatures climbing up into the upper 40s to low 50s over the next couple of hours with a general increase in the clouds by late afternoon and early evening. And Futurecast does show that. It also shows that brief sprinkle trying to make its way into parts of southern New England. This is 9.30 at night. Skies will try to clear overnight and we should get back to sunshine for your Tuesday. For this afternoon, we'll still call it partly to mostly sunny, about 51 downtown, 49 Central Falls, 50 for the high in Pawtucket, and upper 40s to lower 50s, Barrington, Riverside, Garden City, and Cranston, Warwick also at about 50 degrees. South Coast for this afternoon, uh, upper 40s, Newport, breezy, much milder than the weekend, dry skies in Coventry at about 51, and our northwest corner of the state should be in the upper 40s to low 50s, with sunshine giving way to high clouds. Pretty nice Monday. And in southeastern Mass, another warmer than average day. Fading sun late, breezy. Overnight into the evening hours, temperatures stay in the 40s initially and then work our way down into the 30s. But again, not as cold as skies clear later at night. Temperatures down to about 33 degrees. Another mild dry day tomorrow, mid and upper 40s. And then the weather gets more interesting for the middle of the week. We've got a storm system that'll pass through the New England area. It does look like it'll bring accumulating snow to parts of New England but I think the highest accumulations may end up to our north. Right now what I'm looking at is a wintry mix of snow, uh, possibly mixing with or changing to rain for a time and ending in snow. We could see some accumulations around here, so we'll keep you updated on that. Shouldn't have put that shovel away. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs>